सो वेलकम टू फिजिक्स एंड एनिमेशन सो फ्रॉम टूडेज वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स फुली एनिमेटेड कोर्स सीरीज इन दिस कोर्स वी विल एक्सप्लेन ईच कॉन्सेप्ट डेरिवेशन एंड थियोरी ऑफ फिजिक्स विद एनिमेशन एंड विजुअल्स एंड वी विल ट्राई आर बेस्ट दैट दिस सीरीज ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड एनिमेशन विल क्लियर ऑल योर कॉन्सेप्चुअल डाउट्स अबाउट ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स एज वेल एज प्रूव टू बी द बेस्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ट्वेल्थ क्लास सो इन टूडेज एपिसोड we will start with the first chapter electric charges and field in the first unit electrostatics so the story of 12th physics begins when scientists could deal with only one fundamental force in nature properly the force of gravitation force of gravitation is a force that every body or particle of the universe exerts on each other and it is the property of any body or particle The force of gravitation depends on the mass which means the body having higher mass will have more capability to apply gravitational force due to this gravity the earth pulls every particle and matter toward itself due to this force the moon is bound to the earth the earth or can be said that all the planets are bound by the sun even all the bodies found in the universe exerts gravitational force on each other but another force existed which was yet to be understood and this force was sometimes seen to be more powerful than the gravitational force like the gravitational force this force is found in every matter and is born in some special conditions it sometimes appears and sometimes disappears such nature of this force was quite confusing for the scientists the ability to apply this force comes to any body when rubbed from any other body Let's understand the reason for this force. For the sake of experiment, we take a setup in which we have suspended a glass rod and a plastic rod in different combinations with the help of a thread. In the first setup, one plastic rod and one glass rod are suspended. In the second, both the glass rods are used. And in the third setup, we suspended both the plastic rods. Let's go to our first setup. where we have hanged the glass and other plastic rod when we rubbed both rods with silk cloth and left them free again the plastic and glass rod got attracted toward each other and we have seen this nature of attraction in gravitational force as well but when we move towards the second setup and in the same way we rub the glass rods with silk cloth then both the glass rods starts moving away from each other and here we experience the force of throwing away for the first time now when we rub the third setup where both the plastic rods are suspended with a silk cloth we again experience the force of throwing away scientists understood one thing from such experiment when we rub any two bodies the ability to exert force on those bodies comes and call such bodies charged bodies this process of accumulation of charge on the body was called electrification and the second thing which was seen in this experiment is that after rubbing with silk cloth different materials bodies attracted each other at the same time the body of the same material was exerting a force of repulsion on each other and some points scientists were beginning to understand is that the way mass is characteristic of a particle or matter due to which all the bodies of the universe keep applying the force of gravitation on each other similarly the charge is also characteristic of a particle or matter due to which a particle or say matter exerts a force on another matter the difference is that the gravitational force due to the mass is always attractive while the force due to the charged bodies can be attractive and repulsive also this force between charged bodies is named electrostatic force the sticking of bodies to each other due to electrostatic force is called electrostatic cling for example if you rub a plastic object with your hair and bring it near small pieces of paper the paper will be attracted toward the plastic object 
In the experiment, we observed that when a glass rod and a plastic rod were rubbed with a silk cloth, the same kind of rod like glass and glass repel each other and just like that force of repulsion was observed between plastic rod. In contrast, the plastic rod and glass rods attracted each other. From this behavior of charged bodies, it is concluded that there will be two types of charges. Say the charge produced on the glass rod is of type A, while the charge produced on the plastic rod is of type B. Similar charges that is A type charge will repel another A type charge and B type charge will repel a similar B type charge. At the same time, there will always be an attraction between dissimilar A type charges and B type charges. And we got a rule. Similar charges repel while dissimilar charges attract. So let us now know how the names of these two types of charges were decided. It was observed that whenever we bring two dissimilar charged bodies close to each other, a spark is produced with a glow. In Greek, such glow is called electra. Because of this, the charge is called an electric charge. With this spark, charges on both the bodies destroys and bodies become neutral. This process of loss of charge in bodies is called discharging. Due to discharging, both the bodies become neutral and the charges created in them get destroyed. The answer of this type of question was hidden only in mathematics. After adding two types of charges, the resulting charge became zero. When positive 2 and negative 2 are added, the final result is zero. Considered from this concept of mathematics, there will be two types of charges. One charge will be positive, while the other will be called negative. Such nomenclature of charges are given by famous American scientist Benjamin Franklin after his famous kite experiment in 1752. But the story remains. You must be thinking about how it will be known whether the glass will have positive or negative charge and what charge will come in the plastic rod. So let's understand the electron theory to understand this. As we know, everything in this universe is made of atom. And an atom is made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. Where the protons and neutrons are held together in the nucleus with the help of a strong nuclear force. Protons are positively charged particle while neutrons are neutral. An atom has an equal number of positively charged particle protons and negatively charged particle electrons because of which atom is electrically neutral. According to electron theory, if any body is charged, its reason will be only the transfer of electrons. Protons will always be stable in the nucleus. Suppose there is a positive charge in the body. In that case, electron will have to be donated by the atom of the body, because of which the protons in the electron donating body will be more in quantity than electrons and will make the body positively charged. And the body which have accepted the electron will get negative charge due to increased negatively charged particle electrons. These electrons are exchanged during rubbing and the body becomes positively or negatively charged. It means that any body can be positively or negatively charged depending on which body's atom is holding its electrons tightly and which body's atom is loosely holding its electrons. Now the question arises about knowing which body's atom leave their electrons easily and which body's atom keep holding their electrons tightly. To understand this, after a lot of experiments, a series was prepared which was named the electrostatic series. At the top of this series are materials whose atoms give up their electrons easily and so in increasing order of holding, ending with the material whose atoms tightly hold their electrons. Now with the help of this electrostatic series, we can find answer of our question that what type of charge will be acquired by glass and plastic rod after rubbing from the silk cloth. According to electrostatic series, if we rub glass and silk, 
the glass will easily give its electron to the silk. The positive charge will come on the glass and the negative charge will come on to the silk. Thus the glass rod used will become positively charged. And if we rub plastic and silk, the silk atom will give their electrons to the plastic, leaving the plastic with a negative charge while the silk with a positive charge and the plastic rod will become negatively charged. Okay, so there are four forces found in nature, out of which we learned about two forces. First, gravitational force. Second, electrostatic force. Apart from this, two more forces are found in nature, one of which is strong nuclear force and the other is weak nuclear force. Gravitational force and electrostatic force are long range force and are considered to be the major forces of nature. While the range of strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force is limited to the nucleus of the atom. This is why strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force are not counted among the major forces found in nature. While gravitational force and electrostatic force are counted among the two main forces in nature. That's all for this video. Now we will meet in the next video of this series. Thank you so much for watching.